Okay, this is a compilation from Heliosphere. And basically, when I say I don't care what it means, basically it should pretty much should be Saturn, but it doesn't really matter. It's a view. And you know how the, so the size of the sun. Now the one thing to, to keep in mind, and then you have another planet back there, so you can get an idea of alignments. Now I'm going to take you to a map. Let me take you to that real fast, and we'll come back to this. So we'll take you to the current sky chart, and pretty much if it doesn't pop up, what this will be will be Mercury. More than likely that small planet that you just seen coming into the view was more than likely Mercury. <coughs> okay. And I will go ahead and take and we'll take a pop and see where Saturn is supposed to be. But like I'm saying, I believe that to be Mercury, the little tiny one coming by in the end of the flick. And also that should be probably Saturn. Sun's right here in the hole, even though it's not denoted. It's in the well right here in the middle. Because we all rotate around the supergiants and the sun that are right dead here in the middle. Okay. So this is the current chart and basically Jupiter's out whatever's left of a dark back door right now because uh, and basically if you read the description take your time and read it more than once and you'll understand instead of just reading it once real fast you won't understand very good probably uh, you have a lot of activity these are all live okay Hawaii we know that so forth and so on now this is very interesting that the you never, they're never going to really tell you that that's active. The the quakes will tell you that because we've had some off of the Washington coast and so forth off of these volcanoes that are off the coast, okay? Off of Oregon, so forth and so on. And then you have the dormant ones, somewhat dormant, of all these. These are all volcanoes in the world, folks. And basically what I'll do is I'll take you back to another map where it will make distinguish it. But this distinguishes from very much known to be active and hot and happening. Also, even though they're smaller, less activity, okay, but they're known to be active at different times. And we have all the new ones that are going active, okay? So let me take you back to the map that will show you all around the world, not just this region, okay? We are geothermal like crazy, ladies and gentlemen, around the world, okay? The volcanoes, okay? And we are on uptick. Who knows how long it'll last? I think we'll have a big, big peak in a, a start to dormant, to start to go cool again around 2016 or so. There's various reasons for that. So we're going to keep ticking up, okay? So I lower down a little bit so that you can see them all because down south pole area. Antarctic, so forth and so on, and then we'll scoot back up, and you got that one up here. Okay, so around the world, volcanoes, folks, and then the ring of fire, earthquake veins, and so forth and so on. Geothermal world, ladies and gentlemen, we're just, and the moon expands, ladies and gentlemen, and retracts, okay? The moon's got a lot of secrets to it that NASA's not going to tell you for a long time. Questions, questions, questions. Where has Beano Black been? Well, I don't know. Does Beano have a twin? That's what everybody wants to know. Quite possible. Could be kind of scary, huh? Questions, questions, daily, daily. Should have heard all the questions that my friend told me when I got back. Yep, everybody wants to know how many they are. Beano Black, Big Prick, dot com. So fire your detectives or don't fire your detectives or figure out how many there are. Beano Black, Big Prick, dot com. See, anyway... Want to say hi to all the lovely ladies down south of the Gulf area? Where has he been? Could he actually fool his niece and not even be there? Okay, now with facts that will bleed out pretty good here, it's going to be from seeing this shot here. Okay. And then we're going to show you that that's ahead. Okay. So you got that and that. But there's lots they don't want you to see at the same time, ahead and behind, okay? Because now I'm uploading two videos right now, and one of those videos will have unstripped, no clothes on, naked to the eye, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, a naked view into space. Naked, naked, come on, that makes everybody's eyes open up, okay? Watch one of my videos. I got two of them uploading, and you'll see this stuff with no clothes on. Now, what I do to save time, since it's what's good about on these shots, is you, they're you, they're fresh, okay? And to ma to show you, but you got your terahydron, tetrahydron, basically a planner or a fast polar, fast mover, and also a dark 
objects that we keep on seeing and you can see the 4,000 foot level you'll see that at okay and you can see the plume which basically boom okay at a distance triangulation bang 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 okay so you got the terahydrons that are over top of the volcano and we keep seeing that do that action okay and you can see that it's getting hella hotter again as we can see down in the, into it Kilauea okay and she got hot okay and the other ones will just be black and you have the light propagation that we are getting all over the world and you're probably either clear sky and hella bright out today or you're getting and as you can see terahydrons bam 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 from out in space ladies and gentlemen okay watch my two other videos that are uploading uh, this will be loaded last don't know we'll put on a name for it yet uh, I'm going to cruise around and see what we got going on. As you can see, light propagation on. Light propagation. Very bright rings coming around the sun and so forth. And your eyes don't lie to you. There you go. Okay. So eventually, I'm not, I don't know if this has got enough minerals in it left to light up again. This volcano here. And I don't even look a wheel, wheel. Makawa wheel wheel. Makawa wheel. Okay. And see what we get at Mona Kay. And you got dark propagation up there by the. Yes, these are phone lines. And remember, we've seen a halo there before, too. And not just those power lines. Okay. Uh, and you have the dark orbs right there. You have three of them right above the, this antenna here. Up, And I'm going to go to it real fast so you can see it. Just like that. Right there. They're there. Dark orbs. And as you can see, it's a fresh picture. March 2nd. Okay, I don't know what else we got going on up in... And as you see, the light propagation, yes, the white snow helps to affect a little bit, but you can see, bam, there, light propagation, and you can also see light propagation here and here. Okay. Sun and the supergiants and a lot of other objects in space, ladies and gentlemen, doing their show down here on Earth. And also you got that V action right there that you're getting from the sun in the supergiants. And also you got a nice star, star, star diamond there. So a lot of this and that even possibly could. But that could just be a puddle too. Who knows? But pretty much know that that there on the concrete. And there's people sending me videos and I appreciate it of the, but the idea that I'm trying to. And then you got light propagation there that's real bright. And you got the dark orbs up there from that webcam shot you got more sun action here Mona K and so when until I want to make sure that no one's pulling a far, fast one on but most of that light that we're seeing some from some of those around the world sailors that are taking shots uh, basically looks like they're starting to get some of that hologram after action that we've been had down at uh, and also check that out right there, you see? So the action that we've been seeing down at the South Pole, Antarctica. So let's see if we can go to Casey webcams. And as you see, that m the basically a, a, a head shot towards the sun, you really shouldn't have uh, been able to see Venus and Mercury that far apart. Now on Helioviewer, I kind of believe that Helioviewer shot a little bit because the idea that Mercury would be that small planet. And I'll refresh this, but we do have star stars over the volcano as you can see the brightness are stars at night shining down on the volcano area okay so we'll refresh and see what's got going on there volcano action here hang on i ain't taking time to go to this but this is a darn good weather watching site it's an east coast university thing and i think it's a uh and as you can see like that arrow that they've got in this uh one of the guys videos i just took it for an example because what i was showing people before is the idea that basically japan basically action from over here is swirling and, and attractive to the CPM and RADS, okay, and anything to do with radiation was basically bing bong and back and forth. Well, now it pretty much just looks like it's on another shift and it is affecting temperatures, okay. There's a Arctic vortex shift and Europe freezes a lot more right now than what it's done in the past. I don't know if it's setting any records or anything like that, but as you see, basically, even though this is not a radiation, the idea that when you watch weather 
it basically goes, it's up there in the clouds very high, okay? Everything that's shot off over at Fuka Fudge Up and everything like that, it goes up, okay? And basically, it's tracking over to the Soviet mess up a long time ago. RADS and CPM attract to other RADS and CPM. Also, look at all the radiation, humongous, crazy-ass spikes out in Reno, Nevada, Yucca Mountain, and so forth and so on, okay? Because basically... Mercury will be the small thing that you've seen in the he helio viewer would have been the small and Venus would have been the bigger and then the sun in the well so the idea of the angle that that a you got to really kind of wonder what what you're seeing because of the largeness of the objects and so forth and so on and Jupiter out our back door duh, Uranus Neptune Pluto and so forth on the dark side okay so you need to in the well suns in the well so even though that a was shooting at that direction that it was shooting at because that is Mercury there, folks, okay, right there. And the map I showed you from what they show you where uh, they're shooting today and stuff like that. So very interesting. And this is the shot I'm talking about. So very interesting angle off of A ahead. You've seen all the maps and stuff like that. So, okay, A ahead. And then also watch the videos, the two that are uploaded just before this video because you will crap your pants because the sun has got some star or there's some portion on the sun that is basically farting its ass off almost exactly on the hour. Bam, 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 bam. So watch the two videos before this. And like we got light propagation shadows or whatever. You can see there on that camera shot there. More here always we always see in the new you know, formation sometimes. And... There was a, I was going to basically go back, and you can also see here, if you look at this really good, you'll see dark areas up there in this shot in the sky. Basically, bam, 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 okay? And then let's go take a look at what I wanted to show again. Mauna Loa, and uh, nothing really active right yet, but the light propagation that we are getting there right now. Bam, you see that? So it'd be very interesting to try to find out. Uh, let's see if I got a time for what this USG shot t took. So you know that basically, is it just the sun or is it? And it probably more than likely would be something more than just the sun. So try to find out. Go there. Okay, we're at Fireball. And the interesting thing is even at the smaller, you can see how big this showed up. And it was close. It was point. 385 IU, but the interesting thing, there was more than likely a triangulation of sorts, because okay, number one thing is you want to look at speed. Okay, that's hauling ass. 44.0 kilomiles a second. Okay, and you can see even there, even if I'll just blow it up now to like we'll go to 200 and see what we get for a view. I don't think it's going to change. There you go. So, this should have, you should have been able to see this pretty damn good in the night sky. Okay, and I'm not really want to know G UTC time and stuff like that. But let's go to the data on these. Now, this wasn't this larger one that you'd have a better view of, okay, but the distance is pretty close. So that's what I'm wondering about triangulation or following. Because this is the data on what you see below, okay, which is basically this here and here, okay. And it's a little bit farther out, okay. So we have, I mean, even the, no, the number one thing is like I showed you when you had the one doctor okay and he's a physicist or whatever watches stars or whatever the hell he was the one that was making a comment on that footage that was i believe in like carolinas either north or south carolina or something like that and it was off of a you know large but it was one of their branches and basically they went out and did a report on it and had that lady talking about it and had the scientists come on there and it's not tis not the season it's supposed to be in the fall and as you see the all of the you're supposed to they're supposed to to note which comet it would be from that you are seeing these objects from and basically you get blank okay and that yellow code does mean normal something that the idea that they'll put it to the closest that color code of comet asteroid belts that are known okay so we're still getting lots of stuff coming by in the nighttime sky folks so check it out okay you wouldn't have missed this if you would have been up and seen it in those areas in basically New Mexico. So, and at 44 kilomiles a second. So, at least it's that far out, way out, past, farther than the sun. Watch the diamond just above the sun. See that go away? Okay, the sun's below that, okay? 
Let me show you. There's the sun, and then watch that go away, that diamond. Starts in at 9.